Hello, welcome back to another video. My name is Dash and today we are starting a new series here on my channel. So I was inspired by both Pearlescent Moon and Bob Ross uh, to make this series. I wanted to show some techniques that I've learned for over the past 10 years that I've been playing Minecraft. That is right, I've been playing Minecraft for 10 years this year. It is absolutely insane. I've loved every moment of this game. It has brought me so much joy. But I wanted to show and kind of pass on some of the things I've learned in this game to everyone else. And I wanted to do it on a week by week basis. The premise of this series is for me to do a build a week that cannot take more than two hours. Most of these actually only took one hour. This one right here behind us is the only one that took two hours. And I want to show you guys some of the techniques that I've learned. And then every single month we will upload four builds. One for each week within the month. I know some months have five weeks technically, but... Throughout 2021, we're just going to do four builds a month or one build a week and hope everything goes great. The purpose of this video is not to teach you to copy builds. There will not be a world download for this. Even though there are time lapses and you could slow down and build these block for block, I do not recommend that. I simply recommend that you take some of the styles I'm showcasing here and put them to good use. Use them yourself, give them your own flair, and please, if you learn anything from this and you end up doing builds anything like this join my discord there's a link right down below i want to talk to you guys i want to see what you build and if you ever even want help building join my discord we'll go on a plus world and we will build together i love doing stuff with that i've done it with a ton of people before i've done it with people who have watched the videos uh namely people who have wanted to build that dwarven base in the background that i'm going to show you how to build in this video so without further ado let's get in to week one of our first month of doing this series in 2021. I wanted to start off this series with probably my most viewed video, my most like famous build I've ever done. I'm not even that proud of this build. I, I mocked it up within a couple of hours originally, um, but the video ended up getting a really great response and I've had so many requests to actually show the build or guide people through how I built it. So I thought I would start the series off with our Season 3 Existence Survival Base. So kind of the idea behind this base was to make a dwarven entrance into the side of a mountain and that's exactly what this is. You can definitely see the inspiration in the shape of these towers. I think something that really draws people's eye to this build is the use of lava uh, within the towers themselves. And it's definitely a really cool feature and there you go you see it right there. What's cool about this build is that you don't have to put this on the side of a mountain though if you don't want to. If you don't want this to be a, a large gate right here in the middle, you could put this as a gateway to a castle with this large part on top that we're going to build here in a moment. And I think that it works really really well. Uh, another really important part about any build is landscaping so we will definitely get into a little bit of that uh, later. Just you know, really placing it into the environment. So that's why I've added these cliffs on the left and right so you can kind of see just the vibe of what I was going for with this build originally because I was actually putting this against the mountain. Coming in close here now so that we can actually see the structure of this archway because it is a bit complicated. This is probably the most complicated section of the build aside from maybe the gate. The gate is very complicated but other than that this build is very plain. It's just a lot of stone, stone bricks and andesite and a little bit of lava buckets uh, and cobblestone walls. So that's something that really helps this build stand out is all the vertical lines um, but you don't want there to be too many vertical lines so it's good to break it up with horizontal lines from here and there as well so circling around the edge of the build this tall area was not very thick it was just about seven blocks long i believe uh, maybe a little bit longer might have been like nine blocks long but it was definitely not very long left to right and forward and backward Transitioning down now into the gate. I wanted to do something different with the gate I really wanted to break it up and bring some color into this build because other than the bright orange lava This build is very gray. It's very cool So I wanted to bring in some nice warm tones with the spruce wood and the dark oak wood And I believe I even accident with some emerald blocks But that changes later to diamond blocks because I think the green didn't look very good with that palette plus we already have all this greenery around and now working on the cliffs as mentioned earlier just a small little hill right here with a path leading up to this if you put this on a flat plane it will not look good i mean of course the structure itself will look mostly the same 
but it don't it won't feel like it belongs in the space uh, the path i came up with here i really like it's just a combination of stone wool carpet stone brick and andesite uh, a little cracked stone bricks in there as well and i really really like it if you're new to castles or to the dwarven theme this is definitely a build you should try or a style you should try please take some of the techniques techniques of this build that I've shown here and put them to using your own builds. Don't just copy this build. That's not the point of this series. The point of the series is to teach you how to do some of these techniques and build these structures that really feel like they belong in the environment. And that was it for our first week. For week two, I wanted to tone it down a little bit, but I was still really in love with the whole mountain theme. So I thought I would do a little cliff right here. I didn't build it up too much, but I want you to imagine that this build is on the edge of a very tall cliff. It would really fit well on the very edge of a very tall cliff, this mountain home that we're going to build together. So this is, uh, you know, the cliff designs that you see YouTubers like Scar and Flip and everyone like that using. It's really, really easy. You just, the, the biggest mistake I see with this design is that people will just have one stagnant layer of dirt across the top and it won't vary in height at all. Height variation with the dirt on top is crucial. You definitely want to bring some parts drooping down and over the stone you want to have some higher parts up right here over on the left where the river is you can even see where the stone protrudes through the grass and the dirt so starting now on the actual mountain home this was inspired by a reddit user and that i saw it's got a very gray top and it looks really cool but with the stone base that isn't very structurally sound looking with like just stone and andesite it definitely belongs in a mountain looking like it was just built up out of the terrain and then they put logs in to support it it looks very nice i love the warm texture of dark oak i think you'll soon find that it is easily my favorite building block in the game and i wanted to add a water feature to this home so i did add the water coming out right there flowing down into the river that we have below you can see right there where the door is that that's actually four planes of depth we have the roof we have the logs then we have the spruce then we have the dark oak and then we actually have the door so five planes of depth just right there definitely wanted to add some flyer boxes and i added a corn flower because that blue color really brought some necessary color to the build just that little hint of blue just adds so much we want and then for the shape of the roof we went with more of a sloped up type style and with the kind of the nordic tip there at the end going all the way into the mountain you can build this into the side of a mountain if you want but you don't have to it could function very well on its own just stood still i just built the wall up at the back to kind of give the build a backdrop just for the purposes of youtubes and thumbnails and stuff like that but i actually brought in the gray wool below the stone brick border as well and i don't normally do that i thought it looked pretty nice bringing in the in a roof block to the face of the roof and again i want to i want to talk about just how important variation is in builds so you see i'm variating the stone brick with cracked stone bricks and the gray wool with gray concrete powder and that's so important i also variated the grass with coarse dirt the spruce planks with dark oak stripped logs there's so much variation in builds and it just makes a flat something flat come to life even though this is definitely not a flat build there are so many layers and depth in this build but it still adds so much value to a build so please variate things just find blocks that have a, a similar color palette and instead of just doing a spruce plank wall throw in some trap doors or throw in some stripped spruce logs in multiple directions even some stairs to break it up and look at make it look a little bit older if you're going for that Working on the path now, I just decided to use path blocks because if this were going to be in a mountain biome, uh, it might it may be very stone heavy already and I'm adding some stones down here just to emphasize that. So doing a gray pathway may not be your best option here. So I did a path block. Also the yellow adds a lot of nice color to the build. Definitely want to add our grass and bone meal. You almost think of it as the cliff is up, the house is up on this cliff and then this is the valley below with you know the river and the tree and this was definitely a nice really easy simple build but you can still see how just adding the terrain adds so much to the home and to the build itself so i hope you try something like this out in your own world and this is it for our second week 
For week three, I wanted to change things up a bit, and I went with a Desert Oasis vibe. Grimer, my good friend on the Pixelmon Revolution server, built a city kind of like this on the Vintage Beef server probably a year or so ago, and it got a lot of love, and I really was inspired by it. So I wanted to kind of try my own desert house out. I've never built homes in the desert like this before, so this was a first for me, but I didn't want to leave it and do a plain desert, so I made it more of an oasis. I added a very nice river, and around the river I added seagrass within the actual water, and I added foliage because I thought it would make sense that if there's water here, then it would make sense that things could actually grow and thrive right around the river because they would have more hydration. So going into the actual house here, I thought a really good thing to showcase for this build would be layers and depth, both within a height and within walls. So already right here, we have so many different planes. We have a plane on the very left, and then it goes back to a sandstone wall, and then it comes out. And then there's five blocks diagonal to each other, but it's not just a plain flat diagonal wall because two of them are pillars, one of them is bricks, which is actually gonna change, and the other two are the start of sandstone walls. So there's so much depth and variation in this build. I really enjoyed it. Definitely adding foliage to something like this helped, and that's why I went with kind of an oasis vibe so that it would fly. I saw a theme with these desert homes that people would like to add buttons along the top rows and I really liked that so I tried it out as well and it really worked right here. Something we talked about in last week for the week two build was variation and I did that here. It's not just smooth sandstone, we also have normal sandstone and sand in the walls as well to add just a little bit of variation so it's not a flat texture. We're also adding a well out here and I believe our path is just going to be path block for this week as well because the yellow really worked with it but I'm really happy with this house. I know it's actually pretty small, but there's so many levels and layers to it that it just works. I even added some water and some grass to the roof right there to have a nice garden, rooftop garden area. So that's about it for this week. I hope you enjoy this build. For week four and for our last build for this video, I wanted to really showcase landscaping because we talked about it a little bit in each of the other weeks, but for this week, I really wanted to show just what you can do with some basic landscaping. So instead of building up, I actually went down and went into a sort of valley area. And I also want to talk about plains biomes in this week. A lot of times you see plains biomes and they have these great hills and valleys in them. And people will either dig the hill down or they'll flatten it out and they'll just make it completely flat and it becomes so boring. Instead of doing that, do some cliffs like this. It's so easy to do if you slow down and rewind I actually show multiple different ways to do cliffs. You can do stone first and then add three levels of dirt and then just add some variation. You can go dirt first and then bring the stone down. And then you can kind of do a mix of both and just see what works for you. I also am doing more variation here. Uh, I'm not sure about the path blocks for this one, but since we are actually going to be doing some farmland here, I thought the path blocks might work to look like hay or just even grass in the winter, like colder seasons can turn yellow in some parts of the United States, like in my home state. Uh, adding a small stable here, really, like I said, this week is not about the build, but I still wanted to make the nice added acacia and you can actually tell I have a different acacia texture here. It's much more of a darker texture and a burnt texture. If anyone wants this texture pack, join my discord, ask me for it, I'll give it to you. I, I cannot distribute it via download because that would be wrong to the author that made these textures but I can hand it out one by one if anybody actually wants this pack. I also am adding a small little cow farm right here with some hay, a bunch of tall grass, and a small little river with wheat and tall grass dispersed throughout to add a little bit of variation. This build was very simple, very easy. It is so, it looks a million times better than just covering up a plains bomb and making it flat. Try something like this please especially if you're doing farmland there's a lot of things in this small little video that can help with farms and plant biomes i hope you guys enjoyed all the time lapses and the voiceovers <laughs> my voice is actually shot from doing that i haven't commentated this much in so long i hope you learned some things out of this month's builds and if you're looking forward to next month hit the like button comment subscribe Please give me ideas for builds that you want to do. I was thinking about doing maybe some snowy biomes. I haven't done much modern building, so I want to try out some modern builds and kind of learn along with everyone else. So give me some ideas of what you want to see. Say, Dash, I don't know how to do this. Do you know how to do this? And if so, show me. And you can even join my Discord. You can 
give examples of builds and I will build them, I will time lapse them, and I will voice over them and explain exactly what I did to make them as great looking as they are. So I really hope everybody learned something in this video that really is the point of this series, the joy of building series that we're going to be partaking on together. I haven't even ever done much creative building, but I thought it would be nice to go on this journey together. So I'm looking forward to doing February's builds. I know that this is probably releasing so far later than January, but these builds were done in January of 2021. I already actually have a couple more builds over to the right that I cannot show you because they are for February and March. But anyways, guys, my name is Dash, and as always, thanks for watching.